Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. This is a quick review of Cyanogen Mod 11 on Xiaomi Mi Pad. So guys, this is the Cyanogen Mod running on Xiaomi Mi Pad. So guys, if you want to know how to install the Cyanogen Mod 11 on a Xiaomi Mi Pad, I have already made a video for that. You can look into that. This is the home screen and let me just go to settings and about devices. So there we have it. Currently it is running on Android 4.4.4 and Cyanogen Mod 11. As far as I have tested it, all the features of Cyanogen Mod works without any problem. We can even change the themes. We can download any theme for the Cyanogen Mod from the Google Play Store. Just go to Play Store and search for CM11. And there you have it, lots of themes. And just for the testing purpose, I have already downloaded a theme. Let me just show you that. So this is the Android L theme. Currently, as you can see, it is on the default holo theme. Let me just select Android L. These are all the things that I want to enable. So there you have it, there is a slight change in the background color and the entire settings panel is changed including the toggle buttons and the icons. So this is the home screen, the wallpaper is also changed. So we have the normal lock screen. So all the features works without any problem guys, the camera works without any problem. We can take pictures and video and the video rendering is also fine no problem with it at all all the google apps work without problem on one of the build of cyanogen mod we had a problem with video rendering but there's no problem in this device so google maps also works fine as this device doesn't have a gps it is using some other means to find the location so guys let me show you all the customizations that you can do from the settings directly out of the box. So starting off when you swipe from the left you get the notifications and when you swipe to the right you get the notification toggles. There you have it. So these are the settings page and as you can see we have some additional personalization section over here. Just click on lock screen and you have all these settings. Let's start off with lock screen security. So these are the things that you have. Additionally you have a gesture. Apart from that, you can customize a lot of things in the lock screen. For example, let me just show you the lock screen. So this is the lock screen and this is the circle and these are the shortcuts currently available. You can change all of these settings from here. So in the lock screen, we can enable power menu and we can change the slider settings from here. So as you can see, these are the settings. And if I go to any one place, I can assign it any application or a shortcut or other activities. So there we have it, it is that simple. Let's go to the theme section. So these are the individual components of the theme and you can change each individual component or else you can directly go to the themes pack and change the entire thing. So guys, we have dynamic status bar. Just don't enable it because it is still buggy. So let's go on to status bar. We can enable options such as brightness control over here. If you look at the status bar, when I swipe on the status bar, I'm able to change the brightness. Additionally, you can add the network traffic information on the status bar. Let's go with ongoing and incoming and there you have it. We can change the display units and we can even change the update interval. So going on to the notification drawer, we have additional options here. So starting off, let's go with quick settings panel and in here, let's go to title and layout. So these are the default list of tiles that you get in the notification bar. So to add more, simply press that button and simply click on the option that you want. So let's go back. So as you can see, the current performance mode is balanced. We can change it to high performance or power saver mode. So in that way, we can add many more toggles. So guys, coming to the buttons, we can change the backlight of the navigation buttons over here or else we can even enable the navigation bar. So once you do that, both the capacity buttons and the navigation bar will work. So additionally, we can have Pi navigation. Let me just enable that. So this is the Pi bar and it is already customized and we can change the trigger options from here and even the trigger buttons so apart from these you also get the privacy guard there you have it 
So using this, you can block applications from accessing your private information. So it comes fully packed with the Cyanogen mod along with some additional features guys. So guys, I'm going to run a few benchmark tests to see the performance of this device. So just check out this course and compare it with the normal MIUI version and you make your choice. So guys on the whole it definitely performs way better than the stock MIUI and just in case if you don't like the MIUI or if you want 10 OS with tons of customization then I would definitely suggest you to install the Cyanogen Mod 11 on the Mi Pad. But just a quick note guys if you flash another ROM apart from the MIUI you will lose the warranty. So that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching the video I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.